heart pumping. Adrenaline rushes to the extreme. Anxious. Excited. There's no other feeling like riding my dirt bike. One of my favorite places to ride would have to be the Silver Lake Sand Dunes. Uh, it helps you with understanding different terrain types, hills, bumps, different grooves. You can ride in sand, you can pretty much ride anywhere on a dirt bike. It helps your reaction time as well as your turns and cornering. It makes you overall a faster rider. I have ADD. My parents said I need a way to solve it, so I bought myself a three-wheeler. Best thing about riding is Crashing, that's the fun part. That's what makes the good stories. It's what gets the laughs going. I'm from Iowa and uh, back home, we don't have trees or anywhere to ride besides a cornfield. And uh, we definitely don't have the sand. Uh, as a matter of fact, up in Michigan, they got the sand dunes up there. They're right on Lake Michigan, big rolling hills of sand. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. The regulations at the sand dunes uh, require you to have an ORV sticker and a Michigan State Park sticker on each vehicle that enters the sand dune gates. Every vehicle must have a muffler and spark arrestor to uh, prevent fire from escaping out the exhaust. When you come into the gates of the Silver Lake Sand Dunes, uh, the first thing you come up to is uh, Test Hill. It's on your left, and they call it Test Hill because if you can make it up Test Hill, that's the test for Silver Lake. You can make it through any other hill. The faster you ride, the more alert you become. Uh, if you ride slow or try and take it easy, then mistakes start to happen. And that's when crashes come and you get hurt and you end up sitting out your whole motocross season. But if you ride as fast as you can for as long as you can, you become more alert and overall a faster and more successful rider. The sand dunes change every day, every hour, every minute. The peaks on them will change with the wind direction and you have to be extremely careful. You can't uh, go over the hills too fast or else you will catch air or flip over. I did witness a crash. I was riding my dirt bike. Next thing I know I looked to my right and I saw the truck flipped over. So I turned around, um, went back up to the truck to make sure they were okay. Uh, their kids in the back were screaming. Um, they were obviously scared because the roof actually caved in on the truck and pinned their dad in their driver's seat. So I kicked out the back window with my motocross boots and uh, pulled the kids out. I had somebody else who actually had a cell phone on them call 911 because that's how you reach the DNR who actually comes out. I wear a chest protector and a neck brace to uh, protect myself in case I do crash. The neck brace will send the force to your shoulders and collarbones instead of breaking your neck. If you fall on your head and put enough force to your neck, it can paralyze you and your riding career will be over. <laughs>